Yeah, good morning. It's Easter Sunday and uh, I'm up in Glencore this morning. So the plan today is, is just to go up to Ambodak, have a look at Anoch, hopefully a wee bit of snow on it. Obviously I'm going to do it, just to see what it's like. It's a great wee walk up here, very steep from the off. And up behind me is the Bidian Massive, looking beautiful. Get better views of that as I uh, head up. But the conditions uh, come up uh, Glencoe there, through Rannoch Moor and Glencoe, the book on that were absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. The snow capped mountains and whatever. But this is great. So I reckon maybe about two and a half hours up to the summit here. As I say, I'll go along to the well, before the bad drop off uh, from Ambodak onto the ridge, I'll walk all along to there, just get some views, see how it is. We bit breezy at the moment, so I don't know what we like at the top. But the forecast is not too bad. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, I'll push on just now. Yeah, just had to deal here there, get my down jacket off. Although it's quite breezy. Uh, warm work so. Mm. And as I say, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's uh, steep from the off here. Again, that's the views behind me, over to Bidian. It's lovely, can't wait to go up here. As I say, if it stays clear, which it should, <clears throat> the views should be tremendous. Oops. <laughs> I've been up to Ambodak a couple of times. It's a lovely, uh, it's a lovely summit. Great views over to the Memoirs to the right. Once you're up there, and then great views over to Bidian and Glencoe to the left, and then obviously ahead of you, you get Anakiga which uh, I'm hoping to do in June with Alistair weather permitting so I'll be looking forward to that yep that's the way ahead so far Absolutely beautiful. So that's me up at 700 metres now. Yeah, so I think that's just it's over nine. It's another couple of hundred metres to go. That's up there. 
just in a wee shelter spot just now. The views over to Stob Curry and Lochin. And beyond. Beautiful. And as I said, it's looking down towards uh, the main road down at Balahulish. Yeah, so while I'm having a wee rest here, <clears throat> that's a buckle over there and we bit of cloud in it now. And then the second Monroe and the buckles, oh, I don't know, way over there somewhere. And this is a wee buckle just in front of us. You go along that ridge and that's stubbed up, up there. <laughs> I get fond memories of that. That's one, that kind of quarry there, straight ahead at 12 o'clock. That's the one me and Dave had to go down and retrieve my camera that fell down there. Hi. That was a cracking day. That was a pure alpine day, snow everywhere. Yeah, great. Anyway, time to push on. Yeah, there's some of the views opening up at the other side now. The Mamores. Absolutely stunning. And uh, still got there to go. So let's go. Yeah, this is me reaching the plateau now. A wee cairn up there. I just marked the descent path. Yeah, we're up now. Summit's just up there. Come up here first, have a wee look. Still plenty of snow over there. The bend straight ahead there, covered in snow and cloud. Yep. Yeah, so that's me reached the summit of Ambodak. Absolutely stunning. I'll put the height up. It was a crack in my head up here. And the views are superb. Just a wee bit breezy at times, but it's dying down as well. As I said, it's the Anach, just behind me there. A few folk passed me. They're already uh, walking on it. So the conditions are good for them. Should be really good. A couple behind me just uh, getting harnessed up, etc. So that should be great. And over this way, we've got the bend still in cloud there and the CMD are right and CMD and to the right of that we've got the Annex. yeah and over here we've got the Mamores and then behind that the Grey Corries and whatever yeah it's superb and over here over here we've got that ridge that come along years ago that takes you down to the Devil's Staircase and that's the kind of Corbett beyond Ben Acrylist, and then obviously into uh, Glencoe. Just stunning. That was two hours 15 to get here. A lot of stops, filming, etc. That's superb. 
And as I say, down here, we've got the mighty Chancellor. That's just in there. Very imposing. Yeah, just lovely. I was just flying the drone there. So I'll just have a wee bit of water. And then I'll just walk along to the kind of bad step. And then I'll just kind of head back, guy. Yeah, as I say, we got down there. I'm not going to get down there, as I say, at any point. And that's a bad step. Just kind of down about there. Ah, uh, that was fun when me and Big Ken Brown did it. Yeah, it's looking good, eh? It's looking lovely, man. Yeah. Glorious. Still in winter climbing mode, they've got snoods and everything on it. Yeah, yeah you got to be prepared, eh? <laughs> I know 
You wouldn't want to be falling down there. No chance. Uh, quite a bit way down there. And to my left. You don't want to be falling down there either. Yeah. Yeah, I'll spend a wee bit of time up here now. <coughs> That's big do or something. Just taking in these beautiful views. So I'm just going to meander down now. It's still stunning conditions. I'll head down, get the car, wee coffee on, wee latte, have my lunch, and then I might still just take some uh, footage when I'm down uh, at ground level. But uh, absolutely stunning up here. Can't I get away with it. I mean, a great day to do the ridge. But as I say, I'm just up here my Jack Johns and I want to do it myself. <clears throat> as I said to you, I've got it kind of planned for uh, June with Alistair, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Again, you can see the bend's cleared now, just in the background. That's it cleared now. It's all a bit of cloud over that way, but the bend's cleared just now. And uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. So, I'll just get my stuff together and uh, we'll head down now. So, I'll catch you further down the trail. Yep, so that's the views I'm looking at while well, I'm having a wee uh, water break here. Snacks have run out just now, so as I say, I'll have a coffee and my sandwiches down at the car. That's a lovely wee spot here. Yeah, I'm not too far for the car now. Just going over that weed up. But it's still lovely. And uh, that's where I come down for. That way up there and beyond. Uh, it's a fair old hike. A lovely one. Very steep. Yep. There's a lovely three sisters with a beautiful background. And about another 10 minutes. And I should be back at the car. Oh, got to get these boots off, as always. That's me back at the car now. Uh, as I say, I kind of check your stats because my bloody batteries ran out on a Garmin watch. So it was about 220, 215 going up. Uh, I was definitely up in the summit there for at least an hour. Conditions were that good, so I just hung a bit and I had plenty of time to kill so I reckon it must have taken about two hours coming back down again so maybe about five hours in total but what can I say about that hike absolutely stunning what an area and the views up there were tremendous yeah it was steep but the path was good just a wee bit of screen out now and again but uh, on the whole uh, the path was good up there and as I say once you got up onto the kind of summit plateau uh, the views everywhere were just tremendous so getting busy now and I'll probably be busy going back down the road with the uh, Easter traffic so I'll sign off here get a wee latte and then I'll head down the road so if you watch this far thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one adios <laughs>